to prepare ourselves for a winter's night sleep with no shelter and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a cold bed configuration and there are several ways that you can do that that we're going to talk through depending on the amount of tools that you have and the amount of time that you have available we need to find an area where we've got a large opening to build our fire so that we can heat the ground and we also need an area that's got deadfall close enough to us that we don't have to walk firewood for a long ways so stay with me guys and we'll scout this out. If you don't have a lot of tools, sometimes it's difficult to dig an actual coal bed. And digging a coal bed involves making a hole approximately seven feet long, six to eight inches deep, that you're going to burn a fire next to, scrape the coals into that bedded area, cover that back up with the debris that you've dug out so that you have at least four inches of debris or sod or dirt on top of the coals which will eventually smother them out, but it will let heat rise through there and give you heat through conductive and convective heating throughout the night, depending on what you have on top of that for shelter. The other thing that you can do that's very easy if you don't have a lot of tools is you can build a large fire on the ground, melt all the snow around it, burn that fire continually for two, three, four hours in a large area, scrape all the coals away from that, and that ground will be superheated from that fire being on top of it and it will hold that heat for a long period of time. The object of the game right now is to build a big fire and get this area melted down to the ground and get coals along this whole area the size of our body or at least the size of our torso from like the knees to the chest. slowly adding more as I go we'll get it spread out here in a few minutes to show you what we got when you start a project like this you're going to want to do it three to four hours before darkness all right the next step in this process is to move the fire now we're going to move this fire at least a full step away from where we plan to lay our bedroll down. We don't want to move the coal bed, we just want to move the fire. And then we'll build that back up. What we're going to do with the coal bed is we're going to spread it out on the ground, just like this, and let it continue to heat the ground where we plan to lay. generally do before I lay my bedroll down in here is I'll come along here and I'll just scrape this top layer of coals toward the fire just like this and I'll give that a few minutes because I want to make sure that there's no hot coals on the ground so I'll give that a few minutes and I'll watch for smoke make sure I got nothing but dead carbon down here on the ground before I lay my bedroll on the ground.
Once I'm satisfied with what I got, I know I'm not going to burn anything up. I'll come in here and lay a ground cloth in here. Just passing this fire a little ways. Just like this. Whatever I'm using for a ground pad, usually it's a wool blanket shard like this one. And I'll lay that in here. And what that will do is that will trap heat underneath here. And I'll go ahead and fold this over and leave it lay. Bearing in mind that I'm going to do all of this only about a half an hour before I'm ready to hit the rack. Now I'll build my fire back up again. Now if we are dressed correctly, and I can definitely feel the heat coming up through here, a setup like this, you're not going to strip down to go to bed. You bank your fire up one last time before nightfall. You crawl into the bedroll that you've made on the ground. And the heat, the conductive heat coming up through, is what's going to heat you through the night. And it's really nice and warm. I can feel it coming through my clothes even. So if you've got the proper clothing on, you may want to take your boots off. If You, you definitely want to change your socks. And if you are wearing lace-up boots, you're definitely going to loosen the laces up so that you don't have that insulation constricted. But if you've got on a pair of boots that have some airspace in them, you can take the boots off, dry your feet out real quick before you go to bed. Put on clean socks, throw the boots back in, climb into the rack. Let the fire die down as it will. Maybe feed a couple logs on it during the night or a couple sticks here and there just so you got something to work with in the morning. But you're not trying to burn a long fire all night long with a setup like this. You're trying to take advantage of conduction to heat your body throughout the evening. And something like this is going to last you for probably five hours of heat. And if you're dressed properly and you're rolled up in something like this where you've got a good thick blanket on the ground for a pad and you've got something over top of you like a shell a waterproof shell like this oil cloth you're going to be in pretty good shape even in temperatures down around the zero mark now once it gets down below zero then it might be long fire time but you can get away with a lot in temperatures that are pretty low as long as you're dressed correctly and you plan ahead and that's the key element to everything is to plan ahead make sure that you give yourself enough time at the end of the day to set up whatever you need to do to get a comfortable night's sleep because that's the most important thing in the bush is to sleep well. A setup like this will definitely allow you to do that. You can just throw this shell over top of you in case it were to rain or snow during the night. Get your stuff hunkered in good. Let some of that Heat come over here from the fire you've got built and crash down.